Hey guys, I thought I'd kind of bring you on my off-the-cuff random videos. It's gonna be in SKIWL, Skill, uh, Special Force 2. I've been kind of playing a couple of free games every now and then, as you probably noticed on this channel, and this is gonna be one of them. It's one that completely free to download, very uh, fun to play. It's not gonna be, you know, the next big competitive game, but it's certainly a good public run around. The uh, movement is a lot freer, let's say, than your Counter-Strikes but maybe a little bit less than uh, maybe COD. I don't know, it's, it's somewhere in between. It's, it's very fun to play. It's certainly not uh, super movement intensive. You don't have to be worried, you know, you've got to be pixel peeking and stuff like that. It's, it's kind of a middle ground. So very relatable to, let's say, combat arms or Arctic combat, somewhere around that marker. You, you can kind of get the idea from that, I can hope. And obviously I quite enjoy these. Uh, they make me feel like a super awesome FPS gamer whenever I play them because, you know, if you get that kind of FPS uh, pedigree, let's say, that I know a lot of my uh, people on YouTube have, that find it quite fun to play. I'm in a really bad position. Dear God. Come on now. Oh, Jesus. If I get out of that alive, oh, I can't manage that. Yeah, it's pretty much one of those you'll feel like an absolute don on a public, because, you know, free-to-play games, you know, you know what it's like. Guys. You know what it's like. But yeah, it's, I think it's featured in the ESL Versus series, so you can go and play it uh, fairly competitively if you want to try it in like a 5v5 kind of thing, you know what I mean? Um, but right now I am just trying it on public. I'll probably play this in Versus a little bit, try and give it a go, see how I feel about it, see what it uh, actually feels like against, you know, a bit more of a tough crowd rather than your kind of general public players. Saying that, they kill me. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm kind of curious as to if any of you guys at home have played this yet, what your uh, thoughts are towards it, what's its downfalls and to kind of go through the map. I think this is called Hangar right now. I'm still very new to this as you can probably tell. This is not um, exactly my comfort zone game yet. It's still very much new to me. Um, I really like this map. Though. It's not too uh, campy. Oh, I just got smashed. Alright, let's try out the uh, the M4A1. Very standard and I quite like the way you get... <laughs> you're not completely at a massive disadvantage if you're running with the stock iron sights. Like a lot of these games as soon as you get that hollow kind of sight on it, you are pretty much, uh, you know, God's gift to game. Look at this guy just camping it out, you scumbag, you deserve that. Ow, ow, ow. Come here, I'm gonna headshot you. Where have you gone? Oh, he went under my iron sight, God damn it. Scumbag. But yeah, it's, you're not at a massive disadvantage if you haven't been playing this for like four years already and you're, you know, running your own server somewhere. <laughs> Which I quite like, it, it, you know, it allows you to kind of jump in and enjoy the game within its own kind of uh, style and freedom, which is cool. I'm going to try and take this little shortcut, I guess. Yeah, I, I've kind of enjoyed it. The one thing for me is the hit reg and the kind of way it runs. It's certainly not super intensive on a PC. I'm running this quite comfortably, even though I've got a very nice PC here at work. It's, uh, it's you know, you're not going to have to go out and buy an i7. Certainly not. Ah, oh, spawn shield. Oh, god damn. I have four bullets left. I'll make a headshot. There we go. That'll do. Now there's a guy with an alt round over. Spam it out. Ouch. Didn't even reload. That would have been very awkward. But yeah, as I said, it's not super intensive on the PC, which I quite like. And the hitboxes for me are perfect. They feel really responsive. Maybe a little bit too much so at times, but still, it's not a bad thing to have you know fairly large hitboxes in that that kind of a uh, manner that you get to kind of enjoy that public freedom where you can run around and be the absolute uh, god's gift to aiming at times. It does feel very nice, very comfortable. Um, I'm certainly enjoying that. Yeah, headshot, certainly king in this game. You get that headshot, it's pretty much game over for the opposition very, very quickly. So, that's that's pretty cool. Nice to see a game kind of responding to that, you know, the aim is key, it's not just, you know, spamming out for those body shots. Very nice. There we go. Haha, <laughs> you must hate me for that. Let's look at that score. 13 to 2, so I'm still fairly new, as you can probably tell from, um, you know, whatever ranking I am, if you've seen that already, but 13-2-3, it's pretty, it's, it's not the best score in the world, but considering I only picked this up like a couple of hours ago, you can tell that it's pretty responsive. If you're an FPS player, you'll be able to pick this one up and enjoy it out of the box. Now, I will be playing on ESL Versus, and as I said, I will do a video on that and see how it kind of feels then, because games can change, you know, like Arctic Combat, I could really enjoy in a public aspect, but sometimes I got a little bit uh, put off when it got to like a 5v5 mode, but Still, maybe this one can uh, retain both of that. <sighs> that nade, don't you dare kill me. Oh, it's a flash. Oh, and the flashes are super annoying, by the way. Screw you, whoever thought of that. Um, but still, I think this will learn a lot about this game, and maybe I can kind of uh, give you a more in-depth video once I play it a little bit more, and 
Um, see uh, if there's any real kind of problems with it, any big downfalls. And you know, I'll happily tell you about it. It's not like I'm paid by these guys to give it, you know, 10 out of 10 review. I'll give you as honest as I can kind of thoughts on this. Is this guy really just coming here? Yep. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Aw, yeah. Look at me hippity hopping. Oh, we lost. That <laughs> Alright, that's, that's pretty upsetting, but still. Um, hope you guys can give this a try, see what you think, uh, let me know your thoughts towards it as well, because I've certainly had a little bit of fun with this, and I do apologise about the quality, I'm trying to record it as best as I can, it is in windowed mode for me, so it's a kind of bit here and there, but 16 to 4, that's not too bad, I even got a little bit of a clap in game, um, top player total, top killer, there we have it, look at me go, oh yeah, but still, um, I'd love to play with you guys as well, so do hit me up, they call me they call me Pansy is my name in game, no surprise there. Um, hopefully we can get a little couple of uh, public games going and see how you guys feel about this one. I'm going to jump straight into another one so you can see it's not just me uh, playing it for bots, hopefully. But yeah, the uh, general models uh, are pretty kind of cool. You c they're very customizable and it's it's kind of one of these games where you get, you know, the shop, you get the inventory and you can kind of like tune things up and you have to repair your gun every now and then. It's, it's very much a similar game to what you guys would probably know. Um, but that's, that's not a bad thing. I, I, I think, you know, it keeps the public people happy. Why not? So let's jump into another fairly fun one. Uh, Desert Camp. Let's go for a bit of you. I think I was just playing that. Was I just playing that? I think I was. Oh well. We'll get into this and see how it goes. But, uh, tip. If you use the accurate... Oh. I don't get any tips, damn it. Alright, we're back in the game. Let's see how we do now. Right? I'll, I'll try pretty hard here. See what we got going on. A little bit of a pre nade. Not gonna hit shit. Let's keep moving. See, there is a lot of other guns I see people running with, like the AKs and that. So you know, maybe I'm I'm still pretty basic in this. It's not like I'm you know super decked out yet. So you can see kind of at a base level how you'll be able to come into this if you are maybe a FPS gamer of other games. So you know you're, you're kind of comfortable with certain titles. You can kind of handle yourself very well in this. I find. I know they're behind me. I just don't want to face them down when my whole team are like 10 meters away. So I'm hoping to come around the back maybe. I'd really like it if you had the hold down to aim thing in this, because it's very much a toggle click. Maybe there's an option to change that, I just haven't found it yet. Wow, this guy takes bullets like they're going out of fashion. Holy hell. Yeah, I'm a big fan of, like, hold once and you zoom in, like, you hold it down yourself. That's kind of my style of thing, but this seems more like, okay, toggle it on, scroll it around. And I can see the bonuses to it, otherwise your uh, right finger might get a little bit sore after a while. So I, I quite like the uh, hold down thing. It'd be nice to have that as a toggle function, you know, not just the... You have to play like we say. There you go, that's a little quick zoom. See that that stuff is kinda cheesy, you know what I mean? Like these kinda like Cobra quick zoom picture. But still, I I'm I'm okay with that. I'm not too offended by a little logo telling me I'm freaking awesome. Or even though I've only got two kills so far. Doesn't matter. I'm working on it, I'm building up, I'm getting there. Wow, that guy can take bullets. Some of these people, I swear to god, have got like full face armor. Okay, so this is this one. No nades left, let's just push it. Let's see how we do. Okay, my teammate just dealt with him, I don't know if he did. Alright, let's go around the long way. Go around that hangar. See, the one thing about these uh, areas is, like, there's only these moments in Battlefield when you're like, the head height is at the level you're going to be going around the corner at. So it's like, ah, I can't actually headshot you, and you have the advantage. Like, positional advantage is so important in FPSs that so many people underestimate it. It's, it's so vital. But that, that's the big difference for me. It's like, once I learn these maps, like, I can become so much more effective as a player, but until that point, I just run around and hope for the best. Like, I don't know if I should be already pre-aiming up here, or, you know, like, I don't know the general head height level of any players in, like, specific areas. Where are you guys at? Oh, God. I just saw one behind us. Guys. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my god! Oh my god, I just spawned in and just everyone's here. Okay. 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 We got this, don't you worry. Oh, you're up here. Alright. Shh. Oh god, that Let's try and do a little bit of a. Oh, get away from that nade. Let's get down here. Oh, god damn it. Oh, god damn it. I need to reload. I deserve that. I was pretty much stuck there. That nade might do well though. No, I didn't hear anything. Alright. That was that's my bad. Trying to escape, you know, like one hot area and just get kind of roped into another. Yeah, that happens. So, a little couple of shots across. That means they're pushing up. I do. 
Surely there'll be car on the back of us then, because this is where I go, so I can imagine like some players gonna do it. Nope. <laughs> Guess not. Oh sh oh my god, yes they are. Ah, okay. See I'm not quite sure about the uh just like um uh, what should I call it? God, um, you know when you don't iron side? I don't even know what that's called anymore. How? Oh my god, Lauren, use your brain. Uh, hip fire, there we go. Like, I don't know how accurate the hip fire is. I'm going to try a little bit of that so we can test that out together. So <laughs> if my KDA gets super bad, you know why. Let's not run away. Let's, let's just kind of like play chill. So there's still, you know, a fair bit of accuracy. Maybe not at that sort of distance. Okay, I get that. Let's play, play it safe a little bit. Calm down. There we go. So yeah, I think it's uh, pretty much aim dependent. Or like range dependent, should I say, rather than just uh, complete railgun style shooting, which is kind of cool. That's nice. Uh, it's not too OP, so you can't just go flying around the corner like, hey! Oh god, if I aimed on him, I might uh, be able to find out a little bit easier. But yeah. who aims on people these days, right? Try the jump shooting thing. I don't know. Okay, you can you can ladder shoot. Okay, there's another dude up there. Dude, there's a guy up there. Okay, he's, he's got this. He's got this on lock. Who am I to doubt him? Alright, let's try and be careful. Let's be that guy. Oh, yeah. Campy, campy, campy. m m m m Oh, someone's gonna push up. I've got that feeling. I've got a feeling. Oh, God. This one, this one they get spawn shield. Tap it, tap it, tap it, tap it. Yeah. Oh, God. There we go. I deserve that death. Alright, I'll take that. I'll take that death. Die 50 times. Why are you awarding my badness? Screw you, game. But the one thing I like is the maps the way they're designed, so you can easily kind of find these nice little, like, uh, crossing points or pixel shots, should I say? I quite like that. Oh, stop Stop telling me I failed. Guys. I, I promise you I was winning until you guys started watching me. But uh, there we go. I, I thought I'd give you a little bit of an idea of what Special Force, aka skill, is. Um, do try and download it. Give it a go. See what you think. Let me know your thoughts, make sure you add me, and also make sure you follow me on Twitter, at they call me Pansy, and hopefully I'll uh, get to play with you guys soon. Bye!